So to balance visually, we want to represent the different elements. So we put down a symbol for zinc, a symbol for hydrogen, and a symbol for chlorine. Now we ask students to look at this and to figure out what's off. So they notice that they have a circle for zinc on both sides. One square of hydrogen on the reactant side, two squares for hydrogen on the product side, two triangles for chlorine on the product side, one triangle for chlorine on the reactant side. So they become aware that they're going to need another HCl. Now I have them look again and now they can see that the terms worked out. So now they see two HCLs. So now when they come in, they're going to fill in a 2 as the coefficient for their HCL. And this is going to be a visual way to balance. I have a lot of students here who are strongly visual learners. Mathematically, we just write down the numbers. So one iron, two irons, two oxygens, three oxygens, and then these are together, so we box them in. So we look at our oxygen, our least common multiple is six, so we want them to equal six on both sides. So on this side, we need to multiply by two, and on the reactant side, times three. What this does, though, is it shows students that now they've also unbalanced the iron. So their least common multiple of 1 and 4 is going to be 4. So this needs to get multiplied by 4. So now students see that they need 4 irons, 3 oxygen molecules to make 2 rust molecules. So these are two different variations, the second one being purely mathematical, the first one being more visual, to help students figure out how to balance. This year with the diverse learners I had, this really was necessary to provide both options for kids to be able to center themselves and figure out what the best way for them was.